everybody. I'm here in Windsor getting nice and close to the phone here because uh, we got the Fife and Drum Corps right behind us. Let me tell you, does Windsor have the spirit? All right, these guys are awesome. Thank you. All right, so that way we can hear you. But I'm actually here with uh, Don Trinks, who is the mayor of Windsor. But among other things, you might have seen him making a milkshake or a burger because you also uh, are the owner of Bart's Drive-In. I am indeed. So I'm really excited because I've got some great stories coming up. And we went to Bart's Drive-In. We found a fascinating story about the Loomis Chafee School that I don't think a lot of people knew. Um, what do you think the best thing is? I'm going to put you on the spot because there's a lot of good things. What's the best thing about Windsor? It's not even that difficult a question. It's the citizens, the people of Windsor. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> we got it all here. So we're here at the high school, and one of the reasons we're here at the high school is they have like one of, they're warming up inside, but I really want you to tune into Eyewitness News at 5, 5.30 and 6 because, I mean, they have a renowned gospel choir, which is unusual for a high school. They are second to none. I will put them up against anyone. And I know one of their uh, singers, Kimberly, she was just recently on The Voice. So we're going to get to hear them sing. That is going to be such a treat. The other thing, if we can swing around here, I just want to um, show you who's here. Because Bruce Dupriest is here. He's so busy because everyone loves him here because he graduated Windsor High School. Right? You're on Facebook Live. 1974. <laughs> All right, that wasn't before I was born or anything. No. <laughs> All right, so are you excited to be back here in your hometown? Oh, it's absolutely terrific. You know, the year I graduated, this high school was remodeled. You know, we couldn't wait, you know, one more year. But no, I loved Windsor. We moved here from uh, Salt Lake City in 1964. Wow. And, uh, you know, Clover Street School was my first uh, elementary school in Windsor. I went to Sage Park right across the street then graduated Windsor High School in 1974. And you stayed in Connecticut. Ago. We're so happy you stayed here with us. I, the weather tracker's right behind us because you're going to be doing the weather from out here. That's right. We're talking about some weather moving in. We are. You know, we're going to luck out at the beginning. You know, I witness news at 5. I think we'll be okay. But by the tail end of our newscast, we could have some rain in the area. So we all might need to do a mad dash inside the high school, right? <laughs> I'm watching it on my radar app, though. Uh, yeah, but, uh, no, it's good to be back in Windsor. So if you're watching this, and um, yeah, I would love for you in the comments below, post your favorite thing about Windsor or say hi to me and Bruce. We'd love to see the comments later. But uh, you're also welcome to come on down here. We're just getting started. We're right at Windsor High School. We're kind of in the back where the auditorium and the gym is. We're going to have the gospel choir singing. We've got the fife and drum corps. We've got you doing weather. So many We've other surprises. It it feels great outside. It's a nice day so far. Can I put you on the spot if you haven't been to Windsor before? Like where's a, a must-go place? Bart's. Bart's. I got yeah. that in my story coming yes. up. Bart's is a place to go. You know, and then we got the... Uh, the Shad Derby coming up, yes. I'm sure, which um, is really nice. May 18th, I believe, the third, they told me the third Saturday, third Saturday, third Saturday is yeah. the Shad Derby Festival because that was the first meal that the colonists ate from taking the shad from the yeah. Farmington River. Shad fishing is huge, you know, in this area here with the shad darts. You know, oh my gosh, wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Guys, winds are so cool, it has its own T-Rex. <laughs> All right, wait, come here, we gotta see who this is. Hi, everybody! You're on Facebook Live! <laughs> um, I know that dinosaurs don't talk. Who speaks for the dinosaurs? Which group is this? This is the Windsor Rec Department. Yes, it's a dinosaur! It's not yes! This is the Windsor Rec Department, and they are here for their summer fun camps. So I guess if you go to camp, you get to see the T-Rex. It's our Windsor Recreation Department summer programs. Oh, okay. Year-round programs. Year-round, okay. And here's Sharon, Shannon Blennis, our supervisor. Hi, Shannon. Oh, yeah. oh my yeah. gosh. So obviously there's a lot going on here. I'm going to let you all go because i got to get ready to bring you the great stuff on TV. But please turn on your TVs. You're going to love it. 5 and then 5.30, we're giving away a check to a special charity. And at 6 o'clock, we'll be back with... Uh, uh, great places to eat. You're not going to want to miss all the fun coming up on Eyewitness News in just a few moments. We'll see you on TV. Awesome. How old are you, Callie? Three. No way. You're three? This is like a nightgown on you. Are you going to sleep in it? 
Oh my gosh, I love this. Can I give it to my special friend for a minute just because I have to do my story? I'm going to set it down, but it's very special. Thank you. Hi, Dennis and Denise. We have a great crowd out here at Windsor High School. What does everyone think about Windsor? We even have dinosaurs. More on them in a moment. But first, I want to introduce you to this award-winning gospel choir. They just took first place at a competition, and they're going to sing a little bit for us tonight. Take it away, guys. Each and every day, I lift my hands and say, I want to be more like you. I give you my life. Woo! Take me in your arms and hold me, Jesus. Oh. I give you my heart. I know that you can mend these broken pieces. Woo! Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. Just a little bit what they have for us tonight. Yeah, maybe best that they don't figure that out. I can tell you that they have figured out the date for the Shad Festival. That's always the third Saturday in May, so coming up on May 18th. So come on down. We gotta hope the weather will be great for that. But for now, we are sending it over to Bruce DePriest, who just happens to be a Windsor High School grad. Hi, Bruce. 1974, 45 years ago, graduated from <laughs> Windsor High right here. <laughs> What a fantastic day we have. Now, surrounding me are Windsor High graduates as well. So, what year did you graduate? Woo! 1990 <laughs> with a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 1970 with a question mark. <laughs> 1973. Woo! 1979. 1971. 81. 86 to 6. 66. The same. And 89. 1989. How about that? A lot of Windsor High graduates here. And the choir sounded absolutely fantastic. We've got a beautiful day. The rain has held off so far, and it's really nice and comfortable. we got the early warning weather tracker with us, as we do with every town we go to. And right now in Windsor, at Windsor High School, it's 67 degrees, and the dew point is 52. It's nice and comfortable, and it's nice to see that the rain has held off. So a great crowd here in Windsor right now. What do you say, everybody? back with more 20 towns in 20 days live in Windsor coming up in a little while but for now back to you in the studio All right. <laughs> Thank you. It's a great crowd out there. Let's go everybody in YSB hold it up let's go face your smiles okay here we go one two three YSB another one come on people smile Yes, it is. You know, my family, we moved out to Windsor in 1964 from Utah. I lived in Windsor until 1985. I went to Clover Street School, Sage Park, Junior High School, and uh, Windsor High School graduate of uh, 1974. Normally, when we have threatening weather, I'm usually back in the uh, weather center, but it's such a special place, I had to come out, and Mark Dixon has everything covered for you. And I'm watching the weather on my phone as well. And I can see some threatening clouds off to the uh, north and west, so it does look like uh, the uh, wet weather will eventually close in, yes, even on, on Windsor. So right now, the temperature's bumped up a little bit to uh, 68 degrees, and people are coming out and getting a nice T-shirt here. We're live out here with the early warning weather tracker, and you can see on the back of the shirt, this is where all the stops are. We're stop number nine right now in Windsor. And there you have it, 20 towns in 20 days. So far, so good. The weather is holding out, but for how long? Of course, Mark will have more on that. But let's go over to Kara now with the uh, check presentation. Kara. Hi, Bruce. Yes, fingers crossed. We're so lucky with the weather. I think you're bringing us good luck since this is your hometown. Also home to the Fife and Drum Corps. Take it away, guys. introduction because I'm here with the Windsor Food and Fuel Bank and I'm here with Joanna Gold who is one of the board members. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Thank you for being here. You know people don't think of the summer as uh, a, this is a really needy time but this is the most critical time for your food bank. Can you tell us why? It is the most critical time. During Thanksgiving and Christmas everyone's in the giving mood and donations come in 
plentiful. During the summer, everyone's busy, they go on vacation, um, but our winter residents are still in need, so we do need those donations. And for the fuel, because you help pay for the winter heating exactly. bills next year, right yes. guys? Yes. All right, and I just want to show, we have all of this food. What do you need most for people to bring? Um, dry foods, canned foods, pastas, um, things that, that won't spoil. All right, and I know that this is a critical time. You're trying to even send backpacks home with kids on the weekend so they get food. Yes. So uh, could we get a little drum roll, please? Yeah. We have something that we hope will really, really help you. We have $1,000. time and drop off donations to help our donation grow, right? That is, yes. All right, so come on down to the Windsor Food and Fuel Bank. Uh, they've got lots of good stuff here, and it's a wonderful, worthy cause. I'm so happy to be here in Windsor tonight. Don't go away, though, because coming up at 6, we are taking you to a very, very special place to get a bite to eat. For now, I'll send you back to the studio live for 20 towns in 20 days. Hi everyone, I am at the legendary Bart's Drive-In here in Windsor for 20 towns in 20 days. This place is amazing. And Don, who's also the mayor of town, makes the milkshakes here? Oh yeah, milkshake. <laughs> we have a special customer that wants a chocolate, vanilla, Oreo. Oh, I don't know who that would be, but that looks good to try. Mmm, gonna try that. And look at the famous burgers. This is a wonderful place to bring your family. I'm going to have everything that there is to do in Windsor coming up tonight on Eyewitness News starting at 5. See you then. And we are live in Windsor for 20 towns in 20 days. This is stop number 9 in Seoul. But um, at, we're trying to get a yo-yo. Can you yo-yo? I'm gonna try. Let's see. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Up and down, just like Connecticut's weather. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, I lost it. Um, but come down and get one of these. Also coming up, a uh, great place to eat here in Windsor. Yep. Stay tuned. And that's also what microwave up there. Yep. yep. Microwave to uh, transmit back. So it's almost like okay. a. Uh, like a news truck in addition to being a weather tracker so we can get the live conditions here well done. Gotcha. so all that water. is direct yeah, feed to the main station <laughs> or how does that we can feed it to the station we can feed that uh, instrumentation right mm -hmm. to this monitor here in fact the temperature that i showed earlier is right from here right. which is kind of cool so we can go awesome. to, into a storm location show the current conditions mm -hmm. there the wind and wow. all that kind of fun stuff that's pretty cool and, i mean this this thing can go anywhere yeah, I mean, it looks like it's it. It's heavy, it's got the tires. So it's a year-round, it's used year-round, correct? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that is awesome. How long have you been with uh, Windsor? Like 40, 40. Windsor for 20 towns in 20 days and off to the north and west. The sky's looking a little bit dark, but so far, we're looking out. Coming up, Kara's going to talk about a really good place to eat in Windsor, and I know it well. That's coming up when 20 towns in 20 days continues. And clear thing. You guys are
to check out Cruise Nights on Wednesdays. I just want to say a big thank you to Tracy White, the director of the Gospel Choir. Thank you so much. You have a concert coming up? Yes, we do. We have our spring choral concert next Thursday here at the high school, 7 o'clock, free of charge. Everyone is invited. All right, the whole state, they're worth coming out for. Uh, we're live in Windsor, 20 towns in 20 days. I want to send it on over to Bruce, who is a Windsor High School alum. Woo! Woo! I want to give a shout out to Win TV. You know, we had a great time today in Windsor, uh, where place that where I lived for a long time. I went to Windsor High School myself. We did 20 towns in 20 days on uh, on Channel 3 today, and it was our ninth stop. We still got 11 more stops to go, but I'll tell you what, a great time to be back in Windsor, my old hometown. And I went to Clover Street School, I went to Sage Park School, and graduated in Windsor High. 1974. Great to be back. Thanks everybody.